When I first did this little example at Web Design Toots Plus a few months back, well, I got beat up, and the consensus was, why bother? Well, at that point, it was an idea that Adobe was sort of floating around on Adobe Labs. I thought it was pretty interesting and thought I'd present it to you. Well, guess what? It got built into Fireworks CS6, and it is seriously improved. To get at the CSS properties for this object, all I have to do is go select it, go to Window, CSS Properties, and the CSS Properties panel opens. And this object here has a five pixel brown stroke around it. It's got a gradient. You notice it's got a rounded edge, and it's also got a drop shadow. And when I select it, all the properties appear. Now you can choose to export some or all of the properties if you just want to export some of them. You can just hold down the shift key and select the ones you want. Or if you want to select individual properties, just hold down the command or the control key, select the properties you want to export, and those will be the ones that go. Okay, I'm going to deselect, select again. The other thing that's uh, really quite interesting about this is the fact that you can take it to Firefox, Opera, WebKit, and Internet Explorer, so you, it will work with all the modern browsers. And because these things are heavily commented, I tend to uh, deselect include comments, but if you want them, there they are. And like I said, uh, the comments are pretty heavy. So I'm just going to deselect include comments. So how do I get this into CSS? Well, i got one or two choices. I can select them and choose the selected pr uh, button here. I'm going to select them all. And where did they go? Well, they went to the clipboard. So now I'm going to pop over to Dreamweaver, and let's get it working. So I'm over in Dreamweaver. I'm just going to press the return key. I'm in split view, so I'm over on the code side of the fence. And I just copy and paste. Control V or Command V. There it is. Click refresh, and there's my box. Now I notice the rounded corners are missing. This is one of the weaknesses of Dreamweaver. I'm not a happy camper with it, but the best thing about this is, is there's a preview debug in browser. So let's go take a look at this in Chrome. It's going to ask me to save it. I'm going to click yes. And there it is in Chrome. And let's take a look at it now in Firefox. And there it is in Firefox. And for giggles, let's take a look at it in Safari. And there it is in Safari. So there you go. There's a quick way of extracting CSS properties and using them in a web page. The key is draw the object, add your gradients, drop shadows, and effects, and then come to the window menu and select CSS properties in the window menu. Once the properties panel opens, you can select the properties you want, the individual properties you want, or just select it all, copy it to the clipboard, and paste it into your CSS.